We've been um, on a long journey around uh, repositioning our kids, I guess, at the centre of the learning, um, rather than having the teachers at the centre of the learning in the classroom. We've collected a lot of feedback um, from the students around uh, what their classroom teacher brings to them, um, their learning spaces, so redesigning learning spaces to make them more fitting for, for kids and lots of little pilot projects. One of our, I guess, triggers for changing the way we're working um, is looking at how we could engage some very disengaged cohorts of children, especially in our year five, six, sevens. So we've looked at STEM as being a catalyst. What we've attacked, I guess, on, on different fronts um, is uh, number one, our learning spaces. Uh, so we have looked at all of our year five, six, sevens as a cohort. So we have them going through a design thinking process where they're looking at what's a problem that they can solve through STEM. What we spent at the beginning was an entire term going through nothing but the process of learning with our kids. Um, so we set up new learning spaces for them. We got team teaching rather than teachers all in alone. Um, and we taught the kids what good learning looks like and what each aspect of good learning looks like. So we've done lots and lots of targeted teaching about being a good learner with the, with the students. And through that process, they've been um, on a journey of a personal project. So the personal project has been our catalyst for bringing the learning in. It's been, it's been a very rapid change and that came because the staff had already prototyped lots and lots of things that they knew would work, but had never put it all together. So what we've done this year is just put it all together, the things we know that work, um, and, and that's enabled us to go really fast with the kids through some high-end stuff.